Good morning, everybody. How we doing? Ah, hello, guys. Did I forget to turn on the the sound for the intro video? I think I did. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, sorry for being a couple minutes late. Five minutes late. Um, I uh did forget I was streaming today. <laughs> um, but um, uh, I was reminded. And I was like, oh, fuck. I was reminded like uh, 10, 15 minutes ago. And I was like, oh, fuck. To hurry up and do some stuff first. But we're good. We're good. We're good. You know, when I'm late, I'm only like five minutes late. Okay. So I'm not that bad. Is that the worst? I don't think I've been that late before, actually. Not since my rebrand. I think there's been days where I've completely forgotten like in the past. But I think, I think recently the latest I've been is like 10 minutes. So... Ah, oh, six minutes actually. Oh, there we go. Rip. It's over, bros. <laughs> Yo, Naki, thank you very much. Hey, hey, Procreations. It's funny. Yeah, I was actually, um, I was actually, uh, going back over the script for the next video, um, yesterday. And I went through and double checked all the collaborators. Um, and so I looked up your account again because I'm like, I haven't seen Procreations on Twitter for a while. Um, it's funny, funny coincidence. Um, so yes, the next video is. Hang on, let me say hello to everybody before I before I start talking. Um, who's here? Who's here? Hello, Wheel Skeleton. Hello, Miss Cogsmith. Hello, More They Cat. Um, hello, Sawtier. How we doing? Oh, hello, our Russian friend. Hello, Arsnix. Hello, Artery Destroyer. <laughs> what a great name. Uh, hello, Bextra Special. And hello, Naki. And hello, Procreations. How we doing? Not working today, so that's why I'm here. Oh, I'm glad. I hope you enjoy your day off. I hope I can, I can give you a uh, a relaxing day off. Is that the right is that the right word for a, for a horror stream? A relaxing day off. <laughs> a horrible day off. That's not right. <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah, so, um. So with the next video. Which future would I eat again? <laughs> um, I'm leaving a letter to answer that. Um, so, um, next video I'm working on is the logic video. Um, you know what? I'll show you the yeah, the thumbnail um, with art featuring art from Procreations. Um, because I'm pretty sure I've already publicly posted that. So, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here, here's the thumbnail. The Machine God. Start stream five minutes ago, only 14 viewers. <laughs> yeah, it's over, bros. It's over. It's over, moths. Let's go. 
Um, yeah, so this was by um, the Wunderbar. The, the art here it was by the wonderful uh, Procreations. Um, fantastic, fantastic picture. Um, um, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm still I'm still waking up a little bit. <clears throat> um, well, this was my first video to feature custom custom art in a thumbnail. Actually, let me see. I think it is. I think I think I'm actually might actually be. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, one of my videos did have a drawing of one of the sigils that I did, which is I <laughs> I want to count that though because it's it's. It's not exactly on the same level as this. <laughs> so no, this is definitely the first one. Definitely the first one. Um, doing an art symposium all day. I did like four scholarships. Goodness gracious! Well, I hope you get. Um, I hope you get all of those scholarships and and rake in the bucks. Oh, hello, Pontus. How are you doing? Hello, Rodan. Doctor Crab. How we doing? Love if you're in hunger stuff. Never heard of the game before I saw you play. It was a random video. Now I'm hooked. I've heard I've heard a lot of people. Um, that's their introduction to, to fear and hunger is uh, just random videos popping up. Um, yo, Coxby, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Sigil's guys, I have no idea what Sigil you're talking about. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of people like it just pop up randomly on their feed and they watch a couple of videos and then it just destroys their algo and like their algo is just fear and hunger after that for a while. Um. <laughs> ah, mobile YouTube's funky because I was waiting, my phone went dark and it hiccuped and came back now I'm late to the late stream. <laughs> How you doing, Miss Hope you're all well. Yeah, I hope you guys are all well. Um... Uh, what was I saying? Yes, so um, I was working on Logic ages ago, but then I took a, I stopped because it was taking so long. And I did two videos in the meantime, one of which actually took took just as long anyway. Um, but with the Logic script, I, with the Logic video, I had the script finished. Um, I had all the footage recorded. I think there's only like a little bit left I need for that. Um, and I had actually recorded all the voiceover. Um, but that was before I got my new mic. So I spent all of yesterday re-recording all the voiceovers. Um, and just, just sort of smoothing out my process for that. And it's much better now than what it used to be. Um, so, and the sound quality is better. It's, it's easier for me to do. So every, it's just better in general. So hopefully it'll make the video much better. Um, really good to watch. Couldn't play though. It would kill me. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not exactly a... A game for everybody. I, I like games that are unashamedly not games for everybody. I, I really like games that do that. So, so your stream again to see Fear and Hunger. <laughs> Wish my algorithm would behave and stop showing me fringe political stuff. That's the thing. Um, there's certain algorithm traps, right? Things that are really easy for people to fall into. You know, they call it like uh, pipelines, whatever. Um, and it's not, it's not just political stuff. It's, it's, you know, fear and hunger is one of them. Um, but they're things that when people watch them once, they tend to watch more of that content for whatever reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, you've got to be really, you've got to be really brutal with, uh, with the recommendations on YouTube. You've got to, you've got to say, don't recommend this video. Don't recommend this channel. You've got to say that a lot. And eventually it will learn. It, w it will learn. Um, it's finally stopped showing me Vosh stuff. Um, I didn't watch it. I think I watched like a little bit of a Vosh video after that whole drama came out with what he was looking up on stream or what, whatever happened there. Like he opened his downloads or whatever. And I was like, who is this guy? And like I seen, I seen pictures of him. Like, who is this guy? And I was like, ah, oh, this, I don't like this guy. Um, I'm not into political stuff. Um, and, um, and then afterwards, it's like, hey, you like Vosh, right? Here you go. Watch a bunch of Vosh videos. Oh, you don't like Vosh. Watch a bunch of videos shitting on Vosh. I'm like, I don't want to watch this. Like, I don't want to watch any of this. <laughs> so you're just going to relentlessly just like say, don't recommend this. Don't recommend this channel. And it will pick it up. <laughs> it might take a while. <laughs> Since masturbation is a skill in Termino, do you think Miro's got Goonie? <laughs> 
<laughs> that is that is masturbation. It's just it's just spamming that. I think you just have to. That'll be a. <laughs> I actually I don't, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to um, explain how Gooning's ready in the game. Fancy new voice? Yeah, yeah. I'm on the new mic now. Um, actually, um, I just released yesterday. Had I realized that um, today was a stream day, I thought I still had a couple more days. I don't know what. I just lost a few days. Um, had I realized that today was a stream day, I would have waited until after today to to release this video so I could do the whole um, raid into the premiere. But but whatever, it's out. Um, so I actually have a brand new. Um, brand new video out with my new microphone and it's as good as my audio as I can make it. I, when, whenever I make a video, I try and make it, I try and push myself at least in one little way, right? I try and do something a little differently and I try and push myself as hard as I can. Um, and this one, um, so this one just came out yesterday. It's, um, let's pull it up actually. Let's pull it up. Why not? And I'll pull up the thumbnail actually. It's a great thumbnail. There, there's some great shots. That's the good thing about Analog Horror is you know you can count on there being at least one good creepy face to make a thumbnail out of. Oh, hang on, does it fit? Let's make it fit. There we go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go, perfect. <laughs> it's me. Um, yes, so this is um, the Nocturnal Chronicles. I did a video about the Nocturnal Chronicles. Um, and I actually I quite like the series. I, I like it. I like it very much, actually. Um, I do have I do have a criticism towards the end of the video, but other than that, I liked it. Um, I liked the series very much. So if you like analog horror, definitely go check out that video and, and check out the series. Um, um, what was I saying? Yeah, that one. This one uses my new mic as well. So if you want to hear a full video with my brand new microphone, I'm, I mean I'm using it now. But if you want to see a a pre recorded um, as good as, as good as the audio as I can make it. I've, I made it a little better in my next video, but this is in that one. It's as good as I can make it. So, um, um, yes, please, please check it out. Um, and definitely give Nocturnal Chronicles some love. I love, I love that series actually. I really, I really like it. It's, it's got some of the. Um, I want to say it's got out of all the series we've watched on the stream, it's got the best writing, hands down. Um, just hands down. Um, like the the writing is is just is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I, I think it's I think it's a really underrated series, to be honest. And I hope it gets a bit more recognition. So, um, but yeah, go go check the video out, uh, please, if you would. It's, it's it's my longest video to date too. It's an hour and a half. Although to be fair, a lot of that I think like forty minutes of that is actual footage from the. It's, it's footage from the um the actual series so it's uh, i get a lot of that time for free uh i think next time what i'm going to do is i'm not going to show as i realized as i was going back and watching like the final edit of this before i uploaded um and i was like man i, I think i put too much footage from the actual thing in there i think what i'm going to do next time is just cut it right down and and show and like show a bit right but just show the the actual important parts instead of like the full thing so um um and i and i hope the creator of nocturnal chronicles doesn't doesn't mind me actually putting literally the entire series up to that point into the video <laughs> i've seen other i've seen other channels do it before um other analysis channels do it before so i don't think it's like a faux pas but it feels weird to me and it doesn't as a as an analysis video, it doesn't flow as well as it could. And actually, I've noticed people like um, like Nexpo and even Nightmind's stuff now they don't show the full series as it is. So um, also make footage sound quieter in some parts. I did that. I actually went through and I rebalanced all the sound of um, the source footage too. Um. But even then, it's it's still really loud. Sometimes, um, because it's analog horror jump scares, there's like a block for like five seconds where the sound is just max. Um, and even when you turn it down, like it, it's literally, it's it's like provably, verifiably quieter than the stuff next to it, but it just sounds louder. Um, so I did try to, um, you know, keep that in mind, but it's still, 
it's still loud. So <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to keep the vibe as well because if I'm presenting it as as the actual series, I don't want to completely mess it up, right? I want I want to keep the vibe as much as possible. Um, it's it's a tough balance, I think, and I I've, I've definitely got a lot to learn there. Um, but I, but I hope you guys enjoy that video. So haven't been sleeping well. <laughs> I actually didn't last night. I um I kept getting up a lot. For the most part, the stream stops less erratically in general. Um, yeah, um, they just did a big update to Starlink, and I know that because it fucked our net for um, for a week. Well, over a week actually, um, because it, it fucked up again this week too. And it it reset the settings on our router, so it, it turned on all the all the content filtering, so I couldn't access Itchio and couldn't download any games because Itchio is counted as like a um, well, it's either counted as a malware site or an adult site. Um, I guess, does Ichio, Ichio has adult games, doesn't it? I guess that's why. It does, doesn't it? Ichio adult games. If I could spell today. Oh, it, it does. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, it does. Goodness gracious. A 12,000? 12,000. 11,000, 11,000 adult games. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Okay. I can, I can understand why that's, uh, why that's blocked by content filters then. Um, <laughs> oh, hang on. Whoops. Go away. <laughs> Joined it almost through my phone. <laughs> oh, hey, ICPK. How are you doing? Who have I missed? Who have I missed? Uh, the brand new mic did bring new hearts from Saturday. I'm glad. Found Funga via the eye patch video, then I found Mao getting wrecked in Masso runs. Oh man, that's right. That was around that time I was doing Masso runs. That was that was really hard. And I'm glad I never have to do that again now that I've beaten it. Actually, I think I do. I think I still have to do um Masso ending Ending B, I think. Yeah, I think I actually do. Because I still haven't unlocked um Rare's uh what's it like Meteor Storm or whatever it was called. <sighs> you can get malware there too. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably a good thing that it's blocked then by the content filters. <laughs> Anti-game stream win. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe never. I think. Um, I do know. <laughs> that just reminded me. Um, my friend Lappin, the, the other, the other YouTuber Lappin, she did. Um. She did a an adult game stream once, but she just she just streamed her reaction. She didn't have the actual game on stream. You could hear the sounds, but that doesn't count. So she was playing the sounds, and you could see her reaction, but she wasn't showing what was on screen. <laughs> yeah, malware. There you go. Exactly. Once the update comes out, instead of Masso mode runs, you have to do Terror and Starvation. Oh, that's true. I'm actually I'm actually kind of looking forward to Terror and Starvation because um, normal mode is pretty easy for me right now. Um, just because I played it so much, and and Fear and Hunger is one of those games that really benefits from memory. Uh, really benefits from remembering where where, where everything is, because um, it's basically a puzzle game, right? Um, so I am actually really looking forward to Terror and Starvation. What I'll probably do is I'll probably, when the update comes out, my plan is to play through first on normal and try and get as much content as possible. Um, try and try and explore as much as humanly possible. Um, because look, look, I'm 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 here for the law. Okay, that's what I'm here for, right? You know, hard difficulties are cool, but I'm not. I'm not a challenge head like for Apollo or, or Raccoon or, or Bones, right? Um, I don't really care about that. I care about the lore. So I'm going to I'm gonna stream nonstop until I basically figure out every new thing in the game. And then, depending on how I'm feeling, we'll try and do a Terran Starvation run as well. Um, no, I, I do want to do that, but in, not in like the very first stream. Um, and then... Um, because one of my plans is to do a video, you know, what's new in the in the update, right? You know, YouTuber stuff, um, and like what lore is added by the update. You know, really, really quickly get that out. Um, so we're gonna be doing that. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of energy drinks and and, um, and smash it out. So if it if it takes me twelve hours or longer, we're doing that. 
So we played on massive modes. Um, it's interesting. I wouldn't say it's 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 vital for the experience. I would say it's it's not even canon to be honest. So it's not it's definitely not the intended Terminator experience in quotation marks. It's definitely not that. It's definitely just a harder challenge mode. No, you buy only say so exactly. Only thing I'm kind of hoping for uh, from Terran Starvation is having rare notice you thing happen if any of your party members are at zero mind. Oh, that'd be interesting. It'd be cool if it if it triggers a moon scorch boss fight anywhere i wonder if that would work in the code i don't know how i think i think that um coding for rpg maker is a very delicate thing and you can't create um, so what i think happens is that you can't create a new object it, uh, basically an object has to exist in the map at all times so if you want to say say like um in front of the in front of the moon tower, right when you when you do the gauntlet and you fight your party members, those party members the the monsters exist off screen somewhere, and so when they transform, it just gets switched out. Take a nap for a little. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, thanks for coming in, Procreations, and good luck with your interviews. Think of playing Mario eighty five eventually. It was it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was painful but fun. <laughs> Look with the thumbnail afterwards. Yeah, hopefully. Um, okay. Okay, so we are playing some games today. I have I have too many games for what we're the amount of time we've got, I think. Um I've got like six games in the description. We'll have to play some next week, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. There we go. Um they're in alphabetical order. One that I definitely wanted to play was Carcass. <clears throat> we'll just go down the list. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's see. Hey, Nia, how you doing? There are some things you can't see unless you're in one of those modes, like, um, Ghost Lady in Bloodborne Dungeons or Void Seeds in Risk of Rain 2. What was the Ghost Lady? Is that a special boss or something? I don't remember that. I, I did do a lot of the dungeon diving. Um, I actually got... I actually got really, um, really screwed by the dungeon. So I was playing the base game, right? Just playing through. And, um, and then when I got up to, I got the chalice, right? And then I went and fought Vicar Amelia. And I was like, this is kind of hard. You know what? I'm going to sort of try out the, dun the chalice dungeons, right? You know, have a bit of fun. You know, a uh, bit, a bit of stress release after you know, getting owned by a boss, right? Um, and then I go and do dungeons, get geared up with some good gear from there. And then I go back and then I smash Amelia. And I was like, oh, okay. And then every other boss after that, I didn't have any challenge with. And it's like, oh, wait, did I just fuck the game's balance by doing the chalice dungeons? <laughs> and I, I think I did. I think if you're playing Bloodborne, you should definitely stay away from the chalice dungeons in your first run. Um, I think they really mess up the the uh the sort of skill balance so smashed <laughs> special enemy in bloodborne chalice dungeon she's kind of around you seen her twice she wanders around and then push for a second like a ghost sneaking up on you hmm i don't recall that chalice dungeons had a lot of weird stuff a lot of weird stuff it was really cool um I remember there was a big project to map out every single chalice dungeon. And I think they I think they did it. I think they, they mapped out every single chalice dungeon. Um, and there's ones that have like alternate versions of the end game stuff. Like they're clearly debug things that the, the players were never meant to see, but ended up in there anyway. Uh, makes me nervous when a game has like a um <laughs> makes me makes me nervous when a game just has like a generic dot exe icon. It's like is this is this a game? Is this a game?
This game seems pretty malcore to be honest, so. Okay, so we're playing a game called Bloom, or rather, this is a teaser for a game called Bloom. Right, and the, and the links to these are all in the description, so. Um. I don't want to leave yet, okay. We have a hammer, let's go. Juju thing is, is already ASMR. Oh, when I sing along, is it? <laughs> Found footage horror game, by the way. Boards look weak. Okay, we'll come back and look at that. So we're blocked up. Hammer time. <laughs> no, okay. Can I crouch? C to crouch? Why do people do that still? Why is that still a thing? Why isn't it like control to crouch? That seems odd. Um, go. Trash, give me the trash. It smells awful in here. I bet it does, buddy. <laughs> Echo stasis vibes. What's echo stasis? This is kind of creepy. I'm expecting a jump scare, guys. Just be careful. C to crouch because C stands for crouch. That's, that's a good point. But see, the thing about C to crouch is you have to use you have to use your um, index finger to do that. So you've got to stop moving while you do that. But if you have control to crouch, um, then you can do that with your pinky, and you don't have to stop moving. This is exactly like Half-Life. Ah, fresh air. That's probably my favourite level in Half-Life 2, when, um... What book is that? Is that Twilight? Is he reading Twilight based? Was in the, uh, the aqueducts. Before you get the, um... The hover car, the the, the uh, what is it? What do they call it? Hover car. Um, the, the thing that you ride on. Airboat, yes, airboat. Do ladders do that? Ladders don't do that. I think Half Life is very scary. It it kind of is. It's very liminal, as I've I've sort of noticed lately that it's very liminal. It's meant to be unsettling. Do I have to go in here? Oh, I think I do. What the fuck was that? What's up here? Looks like it, it won't open without the power. Oh, okay, we're doing that, are we? Haven't touched grass and fresh air for months now. You should do that. Most of you work at home. It's really good for you if you do that. I feel noticeably worse when I don't get enough sun in a day. My entire, um... I don't know who this guy is, but I want to hit him with a hammer. Um, my entire, uh, December and January it was ruined because I didn't get enough sunlight and I was feeling miserable the entire time. And I didn't realise till afterwards. Because we, we didn't have any sun whatsoever. Um, and we finally had a sunny day. And I felt way better. Do I turn it? Do I... Is this the power? Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go.
Ah, here we go. <laughs> Excuse me, trap, please look away. Is that on? Yo, Pablo, thank you very much. Thanks for good content, and please accept the apology for spam or your networks with questions. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Radio. What's in the radio? Beans. Get beaned. TV, a broken TV. Um. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, we have a screwdriver. No, a screwdriver. A spanner. Is it a spanner? Jeez, you can tell how much I've been interacting with tools, haven't you? You think you think I would? You think I would know what it is, considering I'm, I'm around tools all day. Chat. Ha <laughs> gotcha. Um, I flipped the diverter, but I need to repair this. Okay. Oh. Nice. Easy. Easy clap. Let's go. You should made up. <laughs> I'm afraid that's non canon. Sorry. You a mechanic? Um, no. What would you wear outside of this stinky suit you never wash? I would wear 100% um, linen hippie clothes. Very loud generator. Um, for one of these built-in generators, yeah. Plenty of sun in the equator, especially noon where it cooks you in your home, yeah. We, could, we usually get plenty of sun here, but it was just a really bad year for it. Okay, so we just oh that's that's a clever way to skip ahead. Do I get my okay, I got my got my spanner. Okay. <clears throat> Why do I wear sunglasses during the dark? Because so so bugs don't fly into my eyes. Oh. Wait, what the hell was that? That's creepy. Someone's gonna be a horror hippie. Like, um. Um I'm literally Nick Cage from um, Mandy. You sit in the chair, please. The game of specs was. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, what the. Say stage. Oh, okay, and it stops. <laughs> so stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, they did say it was a, a demo. Um, okay. So that was Bloom, a teaser. It, well, it's not, a de it's not a demo, it's a teaser. Um, the final release of this project will see many changes and a lot more content. Uh, below is an excerpt from a found footage forum. The file of link contains footage that was found on the body of an unnamed man who was located just outside the Chidoke Falls. I should be showing this. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So here's the link. Um, 
file of link contains footage that was found in the body of an unnamed man who was located just outside the Judeke Falls drain in Hamilton, Ontario. So this guy died. On the tape, written in blue marker, was the message for Unstoppable Jane. Unstoppable Jane. Uh, when watching the tape, you can hear the sound of a tawny owl, which is now commonly found in Europe and Russia. Uh... Also, footage of documents of paperwork that's in English, as well as footage of tree species native to Northern Europe. Um, I think the man was exploring a storm drainage system, storm drainage system somewhere in Central Britain. Hmm. So my friends have suggested the man might have been filming inside of an abandoned Canadian research site in Eastern Russia. Doesn't explain how the body was found in Hamilton, yeah. Hmm. Okay, this is the first game in a series I'd like to make. All the games have been a format that relies heavily on atmosphere and will attempt to limit the player in unique ways to enhance the, the intensity of the horror exploration experience. All the games will try to mimic the aesthetics of a different footage, video recordings. Camcorder, undersea drone, body cam. That's pretty cool. That's that's a cool idea. Like, what, what, other, what other footage could you have? Like, security cameras? I guess that's like... Uh, I guess this isn't, isn't too unique, but it's still a cool idea, though. Good premise, I guess. I wonder where we are country-wise, because I feel like I recognize the architecture. It feels like generic um, storm drain stuff, which is weird. Um, games to be short and provide different perspective answers on the mystery. Okay. In the full release of this project, there will be some combat, much more to explore, and pieces of lore which can be read to put together a mysterious narrative. Okay, I like the sound of that. Has Tito released any more? Okay, so this is the one we played. <clears throat> Pig Face. I wonder if this is part of the same series. Pig Face. This is the game that's been blowing up a little bit on Twitter lately, I think. Oh, Pig Face. Um, I don't know if it's horror, though. It kind of looks like horror. But it's more just focused on combat demo, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool, we'll definitely keep an eye on this. Um, because that was that was really nice aesthetic, I think. Um, I really like that aesthetic. So it'd be cool to see. Um wait, here we go. Developing a game about doing wet work for a mysterious blackmailer. Is that spoilers? I guess we don't know the rest of the story. I guess that's part of the story then. <laughs> Alright, that was cool. That was cool. Interesting. I, I liked it. Um, <clears throat> if Mara in the Fungi universe, would he be associated with Sulphur as a demon, or a demon's not exclusive to Sulphur? Short answer, not going to prompt. <laughs> I like how you have to say that. <laughs> um, demons are not exclusively associated with Sulphur. We don't know exactly what a demon is, but all the demons we've seen so far, everything that's been explicitly called a demon has been attached to Grogoroth. I think. Um... And the theory is that demons are like fragments of a god. We don't know if that's different from, say, like how Pocket Cat is associated with Rare. It is, does that mean Pocket Cat is a, is a fragment of Rare or is he like a different entity or like what's going on there? It's, it's pretty vague. So we don't know exactly what demons are, but yeah, the theory is they're a fragment of a god. So... Um, I believe that the the shadow that Nashra summons when you fight him is called a demon. I think it's it's I'm a little rusty in the demon law because I don't think it's that important. Um, um, and that that's very obviously Grogroth stuff. And I think the original Black Priests in the Book of Memories um, summoned a demon. I think that was called a demon, and that was obviously Grogroth as well. So, what fragment? What fragment of the god would you be? Uh, like, what, what god would I be a fragment of? Um, it's got to be rare, right? I mean, just look at me. It's got to be rare. <laughs> so what's the difference between traces and a fragment? Well, like, again, it's pretty... A lot of this stuff is really vague. But so what it seems to be is that when a god is here and then they leave, they leave behind traces. But a, a fragment is... Honestly, it's it's really hard to know. So it's I don't I don't know. We we it's it's something that's really vague. There's like nothing about it. So <laughs> they're not they're sort of like 
a, a tendril of the god reaching into the world. So if the god is like a one big idea and it reaches down, uh, a fragment is one tendril of that god. A very minor tendril is 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 seen, is what it seems to be, but that's very. I wouldn't say anything definitive about that. So, demon seed is Sylvian magic. That's true. Yeah, then you've got the demon kids too. So, look, I think, I think the word demon is just used really weirdly. I don't, I don't know if there is anything you could call a, a like a demon, demon proper. You know, you've got the living stories, which I think we might like what is sort of closer to what we consider demons in in reality but it's it's complicated so the good wiki calls the thing here someone's darkness it's called the darkness when you fight it but i think the the whole of the gods call it a demon i'm not sure it's it's been a while and, and like, like like i said i haven't looked into it much because i don't think it, the word demon is that important in this in the game so Never to find that demon adult body in Mahab. See, you've got to you've got to open the path of the kings, which requires. I don't remember what it requires, but it's kind of tricky and really out of the way. Um, if you're doing Kahara's S ending, you'll go there and you'll find it. But I think anybody can find it. We don't have any demon stuff in Termina. Yeah, I don't think we do at all. No. <clears throat> um, okay, so next we have Carcass. Up. So this is the one I really wanted to play today. Was Carcass. And I forgot, actually. I actually completely forgot about it until, um, like, yesterday. So I re-added it back on. <laughs> okay, so you can check out Carcass here. Do, 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 do. It's, it's saying stuff on screen. Hang on. This game is intended to be played in one sitting with headphones. At the moment, so Carcass is currently a experimental horror game. Short experimental horror game. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's a demo. Um, okay. So, Carcass. Nice and creepy. What setting? I always like looking at the settings first. Um, audio on off. <laughs> we drain the life from the soil. The insects claimed it back. The earth. A carcass. I was watching that movie, The Dictator, the other day. It's it's kind of shit, but there was he, there was one scene where he starts saying some some Jewish words. He's playing a character that's super anti-Semitic, but he's like, "Hello, are we back?" Are we are we back up? I don't know why the my net my net didn't didn't stop working there. The stream just stopped for some reason. <laughs> That's how bizarre. Okay. Um I think we might die again. Hang on. Aussie moment. No, well, well my net was fine though. My net kept running, so. It's just the stream stopped, which is bizarre. Couldn't hear the dictator bit. Oh, um, uh, I was just talking about the movie The Dictator, which is it's kind of shit. But um, there was one one point where he said he likes he likes certain Jewish words because I can't remember what they were, um, because they they sound like what they are. And um, I've been thinking about like what other languages, what other words from other languages sound like what they are. And I think carcass is one of those words that sounds like what it is. So, 
is YouTube. It might be my my connection. We'll, we'll see how we go with this connection. We might have to do another stream on if if this if this fucks up. We'll do another stream on Sunday um, instead. But um, we'll see. It's going up and down a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's keep going. Oh, you guys may not have seen what happened. Um, we were delivered to weird insect people um, as a tribute, and and we we want they want us to turn into a weapon, so they threw us down into this pit, and this is where we wake up. So, ghoul. That's a good word. That's a really good word. <laughs> uh you okay there? And and they said that the witch will make us into a weapon. Thought it was your internet? Um, honestly, look, if the, if the stream dies, assume it's mine because it most probably is. Am I the witch? The momentum is kind of weird in this. <laughs> you have awoken, little lamb. Or is this the witch? Yes, I have. It is time for us to work again. We have a new specimen in the lab. What game is it? This is called Carcass. It's in the description. This time, we will be creating something special. Grab the bodies from the disposer and place them in your surgery. Or should we call it a dining room? Yes. Hey, Ichihara, how you doing? Remember to extract only the organs. That will expand your mind. So then you can catch the unseen insects. Take their essence and fill your syringe. All right. Is it this way? Disposer. It's going to be like Baroque where an angel hands you a rifle to kill God. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here? So this is like the normal world with people with like bulls and stuff like that and like cattle and stuff? Or is that like a bug? And then people and bugs fought, but then bugs used magic to hurt people. People and... Bugs fought. This might be the chitin. The bugs take organs from people to see. Are they like butterflies? What's the deal with the um the spaceships over the over the sky over the sun? Can I go this way? All right. Oh, we can sprint. Good. This way? No. This way? Let's remove body back. No. Intestines. Condition okay. Condition good. Oh, intestines. Yum. Liver good. Hang on. What's the notes? Follow these steps to extract the perfect parts. Place body on surgery table, remove all outer layers, pull back the skin on upper abdomen, consume organs. We require only the heart, lungs, intestines, or stomach. You must determine which organs are the best condition for eating. Perfect, good, or okay will do. Do not eat bad flesh. Once done, dispose body. Okay, gotcha. Oh, perfect lungs. Let's go. 
Good heart, yes. Okay, liver. You know what? Screw it, let's go. We done? That's it? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, now we find the unseen insects, I guess. <clears throat> Always trust butterflies? They're definitely not a witch called Beatrice. What's Beatrice? Do we need to, I think I might need to eat more, actually. Let's eat more. I'm still hungry. Good intestines, yum yum yum. Good liver, good heart. Num, nice. Let's keep eating till we have max mind. Let's keep do that. Let's do that. A lot of bodies in here, huh? What organs would you guys eat? <clears throat> Ooh, bad intestines, no. Good liver, yes. Bad heart. Good lungs, nice. Let's fill up our brain meter by eating eating organs, yes. <laughs> Beatrice is a character in Umineko, which is a work in the same universe as anime Higurashi. I did watch Higur I did watch Higurashi. Perfect intestines, let's go. Oh, we're maxed. I think we're maxed out. Perfect heart. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. The hell? So what now I go to bed, right? That was weird. Is this from related to no one lives under the lighthouse? I don't think so. Do you remember your home, little lamb? Mm, no. How long has it been now? Should I do a whispery voice? So far behind you now. But it still lingers, doesn't it? And you knew and believed. are now just crumbling images. But you're here now. Time to wake up, little lamb. Hey, Smasher. Absolutely. Oh, we can crash? This is this is what happens when you push the jump button. <laughs> Ooh. He's growing. <clears throat> okay. You are awake. Have you checked our guest? The change has already begun. Wake up, Mr. Doog, and wake up and smell the ashes. The right man in the wrong place makes all the difference in the world. G-Man was so cool. Soon it will grow into something magnificent. 
Remember, eat the good flesh, dear. Okay. <coughs> what the hell was that? Is that different? No. Why are you G-Man? Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Doing a bit of shopping, you want anything? Hey, look, this whole thing's been fun, but I think it's time for me to go back home. Um, look, you can you can keep your corpse. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Can I? Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess we have to see this thing through, huh? Bad, no. Good. Good. Okay, gotcha. Goodbye. You're tall. What the hell? Or am I short? <laughs> Dispose. Um... The down with the line through it is Earth. What's that symbol? I don't remember. A lot of occult symbols there. I don't remember most of them. What you got for me? Good intestines. Yum, yum, yum. Bad liver. No. Good heart. Perfect lungs. Let's go. Bros, we're eating good today. Can I just eat it here? I feel like this process could be optimized a little bit. I drew the body hero line up at baby's crying. There's been a little bit of that lately, hasn't there? Bad, good. Thank you, PT, for bringing babies back into it. What a catch. Collective sanity cracking. Yeah, there's no baby noise in this. What are you talking about? Bad intestines, bad liver, good heart. That's me, isn't it? Good heart. Good heart, bad everything else. Catch, nice, let's go. Human view. Well, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Perfect intestines, let's go. Okay, liver. Well, okay, we can go collect bugs now, but I kind of don't want to waste my meal first. Um, bad heart. Oh, we're not eating this anyway. Goodbye. What does the witch look like when I'm in when I'm in bug mode? What does everything else look like when I'm in bug mode? Let's see. When I'm bugging out. We can't enter there in bug mode? Okay. What do you look like? Nothing. What is my... Is that the progress bar? Okay. So there's three scratches. Let's see if that, that goes, that, that increases next tomorrow. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I've got bug in my tummy. Hmm, how are the moss today? Quite delightful, my dear. No moss, there's no bugs in, no bugs in here today. Interesting. We're in here. All hallway bugs today, huh? Oh no, I got the, I got the thing. Never mind. Duh. <laughs> huh. progress increase. So we've got like five days of this. Okay. Three. Butterfly and moth. Good question. Why are you friends Kafka? That's a 
That's a good question. I hope you're resting well, little lamb. Spines? Let's go. Please don't touch my spine like that. That's kind of gross. Dreaming of home again? Remember, you live to serve me. Bug maxing. <laughs> I can hear your thoughts. Do not forget this. <coughs> I want you to dream of flesh and nothing else. Now wake again, little lamb. We. Why did you eat us? Because you're very tasty. Sorry, this is how it is. No, the days aren't increasing. Up without a line through it is fire. Let's see if we can find the other ones. There's fire. Oh, you're getting spiky, bro. Yo, Carlos, thank you very much. Self God's here with me. He I demands more content. <laughs> Self God is here with me. He demands more content about him. I told him that two videos is enough. Can you send a salute to Hell Forest? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> so we just have fire and earth here. I don't know if we have the other ones. Hey, witch. Sleeping well? Those cretins on the surface know nothing of our work. They think we serve chitin. We serve only ourselves. They may bless us with vision, but we see the truth. Truth is in flesh. I agree. <laughs> You had to do that, didn't you? You just had to. You just had to. Okay. <clears throat> well, I know how to look at that, don't I? Who was coughing? Is the witch coughing? Look at her, she doesn't have lungs. She's covered in goo and just oozing. All right. <clears throat> okay, yummy, good liver, good heart, and good lungs. Good, awesome, that's a good body, thank you. I'm gonna eat you, I'm gonna eat you for creeping me out of the freaking time. This me, says <laughs> me. <laughs> you both cough, you can't both cough. No, all three of you. No, you can't. All right, what do we got? Intestines, perfect liver. Let's go, bros. Bad heart. This is like this is like organ gacha, isn't it? Collect your body and then you roll. You roll to see what condition the organs are in. Uh, what would be mouse curse object of choice? <clears throat> Good question. TV, probably. I didn't catch it. I didn't, I'm such a failure. I'm such a failure as a as a goo flesh witch. Two percent chance of an SSR liver. <laughs> when you when you unzip the body, like a light shines out, and it's got like the whole animation, and everything. Perfect liver. Hey, 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 I got the perfect liver. <laughs> good heart and good lungs. Thank you. All right. All right, bros, it's bug time. I'm bugging out. Um, no, I want all, all moths today. I want all moth diet today. Can I stab you? No. Can I stab you? No. Can stab you though, buddy. <laughs> Get owned. Ooh, we're getting there. 
We're getting there. He's getting bugged out. With fava beans and a nice Kian. How does he say it? Kian? Is it Kian tea? With a nice Kian tea. <laughs> You know, watch your stories. <laughs> I have a question for you, little lamb. <clears throat> Do you love me? Well, absolutely. We love our, our goo flesh witch here, don't we, bros? Do you show me that you love me? Can you think of three examples? Uh, yeah, I've, I've actually in injected that guy three, three times. I bet you can't. What am I to you? Um, you're my mother? I know what you are to me. Actually, I don't know. Turn around. Take my hand. Time to wake up, little lamb. Couldn't play porn games. <laughs> Okay, are we back? Returned? Okay, good. Yeah, okay, so... Um, what my computer does is whenever a game is too intensive, um, it stops um, my, uh, my Wi-Fi adapter from working. Um... It just, it just, and it, it doesn't do it all the time, but it, it has, it'll have like a, it'll do it for like a couple of weeks and then it'll just stop for ages and it's doing it at the moment. So like if I'm playing like, like I'm playing Satisfactory a little bit recently and it, like it happens with that or, or certain other games and Carcass is setting it off because it's using up like a hundred percent of my GPU. Um, <laughs> I don't know why Carcass is doing that uh, because it's obviously not a very intensive game. So I heard my computer get louder when Carcass was playing. Um, so I don't know why, why my, um, why my computer does that. Um, I thought it might be like, um, turning off the power to the USB ports, um, when, it, whenever the computer's running, running hot, but it doesn't, it's not that because I, I, I turn that setting off. So I don't know why, what causes it to be honest. So it's bizarre. Bug physics. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess we're not playing Carcass. Um, <clears throat> stop here for yeah. We uh we we can't play it. I, I I literally can't play it on stream. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll play it off stream or something. Um, okay. Driver issue maybe. I like I've, I've checked with it. I've, like I've checked everything that that I know of, and it just it still fucks up. Um. Okay, so we're not doing Carcass. Let's do. I don't want to do Paul's Lost Remains. That's right up my alley, I think. Oh, and it's and it's and it's Godot. <laughs> I thought this one's pretty messed up. We'll see how it goes. It it kind of looks like a regular indie. But I've heard it, it, some of the comments said it's pretty messed up, so. It's sad, but also, yeah, like, look, I, like, I literally can't stream it, so, because, because of me, how my computer's fucked up, so. <laughs> um, okay, so I do have a laptop coming. I ordered a laptop because I'm going to be tra traveling a little bit soon. Um, and I, I need a laptop to keep working. And I'll be able to stream off of that, so hopefully that'll still allow me to stream. Um. So we'll see how we go with that. So I should I shouldn't have any issues streaming games like that in the future. I've, well, I haven't had any issues streaming any games until now. Um, so I don't know. Look, there's there's no reason that Carcass should be using a hundred percent of my GPU. There's there's no reason it should be doing that. Not a game that simple. It just shouldn't. So they've they've obviously um, coded something wrong there. <laughs> um. Okay. So we are playing Paul's Lost Remains. screen. Oops, hang on. Okay. Ah! 
What did I just hear? Is that Paul screaming? I should check up on him. Oh. Where has Paul gone? Good question. What is all this blood? To find him. He left his shoes here. right arm I don't like it being so open like this to be honest it's torso Paul's chest <laughs> Paul's, Paul's dead buddy he's cooked Paul's chest on the cross. <laughs> why are we why are we doing this? Why are we putting I need to find more of Paul Why? Why do you need to do that? Uh question. Hey Napoleon, how you doing? Hey Lepon Kotsu, how you doing? Have you guys come to watch me reassemble my dead friend for Vague and unspecified reasons. This is his head. It is his head. Okay, so we've got his arm back on there. We've got his head. What else do we need? Okay, so we need his legs still. You'll be right, Paul. Don't worry about it. We'll... We'll, uh... We'll get your legs back, I think. one of them I don't like that I don't like that scream I don't like that all right I do that every Tuesday <laughs> uh, alas poor Paul right leg on the cross all right he's back together again Paul Paul you are complete now Paul Paul, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> I have to run. Maybe I can reach my car. Oh, God. He's back and he's mad. It's kind of easy to outrun.
learning necromancy? Yeah, yeah, I, I think. I think we're just putting him back together. Oh, Skibbity Paul, where's my car? Oh, not this way. Oh, here. Oh, fuck off, dude. Fuck off, dude. You creep me up, bro. I made it. The end. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. Um, that's okay. Um, I, the comments sort of said it would be a bit, a bit spooky than that. <laughs> I wonder if we can try and get, um, what happens if you get caught by Paul? I want to see what happens. I wish you could skip this text. Can you skip this text? I don't think you can. Because he was eating beans that night. That's what happened. He cut himself when he was trying to eat beans, and he cut his he cut all his limbs off. <laughs> That's what happened. Is he cut all his bits off when he was eating beans? <laughs> you picked up Paul's right arm. More concerned about our character than Paul. Absolutely, yeah. Like, why is this dude? Why is this dude putting his? Wait, is that your first reaction to finding your your friend's bloody arms and torso? After going camping is, oh, I better put him back together on this conveniently placed crucifix in the middle of the woods, at, in, in the middle of the night. Yes, actually, that is my first, my first response, so. If you plan to get caught, absolutely nothing happens. Really? No. Oh. Well, we're doing it. We're already there. We're already halfway there, so. I wonder if this is just a photo of like the, de the developer's head. Is this is his face. This stream made me crave a burger. <laughs> I have a pool burger. I could go a burger. I haven't had a burger in age. Well, no, I actually had a, bur a burger for breakfast because we're out of eggs and I just had like one burger patty left. So I'm like, fuck it, I have a burger for breakfast. What happens if you sequence break and, and get all the limbs first? I kind of want to see what happens if you go to your car straight away, but I don't want to slowly walk all the way there only for nothing to happen, then slowly walk all the way back. You place Paul's chest on the cross. I actually have to step forward. Here we go. He placed Paul's right arm on the cross. I like to stream, you're not playing Carcass. I was playing Carcass, but it it uses a ridiculous amount of GPU. And when my computer does that, it, it screws up and it won't connect to the internet. So I, I literally can't stream it. Secret Stealth ending where you catch up to Paul and he's like, oh, sorry, this happens sometimes. <laughs> I had a burger. Nice. What kind of burger? Okay, Paul. Ah! Ah! Paul, what the hell happened to you? I have to run. Maybe I can reach my car. I love the T-pose. I guess that's that's fine. He's actually T-posing, isn't it? Because he just come off the cross. And you T-pose too, right? You see how good his pathfinding is.
No. That's loud. That's a loud jump scare. Is it? Is it still a jump scare? If you like walk into it, we're done. We 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 figured it out. We figured it out. Um, that was not as creepy as I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> I like the idea. The idea is cool. So, I I like the idea of the protagonist is doing weird shit like that. Like who puts, like who does that? Like who who binds their friend's limbs and puts them back together? Um. That's an interesting setup. Um, it's not scary at all. Though. It was creepy uh, until Paul came back to life, I think. And mechanically, the uh, the chase wasn't very interesting either. Um, the execution isn't what I called salad knife. No, no. Um, so, I think the chase wasn't very interesting either because he was like super slow. And it really wasn't that hard to avoid him. You know, you can do simple stuff like, um, you know, maybe he charges at you every few seconds. So you got to keep an eye on him while you're running. You know, you have to look behind you to keep an eye on him. Um, and, and like side dodge him or stuff like that. You know, something simple like that. There's, there's one mechanic you have to be aware of, right? Something like that can make a game way more interesting. Um, <laughs> that face was funny where he, he, he goes all fiery. That was funny. Um, yeah, that was that was Paul's lost remains. They're not lost anymore, are they? He's he's actually just running around in the forest because we we wait, we didn't even find out what happened to him. Like, why did why did that happen? What um why was he cut up? Like, what what actually happened? Is that is it supposed to be like the main character went crazy? Is that supposed to be like the what happened there? Hang on, let me hang on. I want to try. I want to try just <clears throat> just going straight to the uh, the car. Let's see if we can do that. It's like out here, I think. I have a fun fact for you. Oh yeah, what's your fun fact? Laponkatsu. During Gladiator games at Colosseum, audience members would run out and drink the blood of fallen gladiators thinking they could absorb their power. That's true though. That's actually how that works. Let's see, the car was around here somewhere, wasn't it? I don't think I can. I think I'm locked out. I'm just going home straight away. Yeah, I can't even see it. Yeah, bros, I don't think I don't think we can just go to the car. I don't think the car exists until we have to escape. Oh well. That's rad. Nowadays we've got boring shit like football. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. That's okay. Exit. What game is next? What do we have next? That was Paul's Lost Remains. Um, now we have... Country Carcass. Fun to be found... Well, I kind of have to play Fine to be Found, don't I? Because that's in the thumbnail, so <laughs> we kind of have to play that one. <laughs> if it was video stuttery or buffering, not sure it's my. It's probably my end, to be perfectly honest. If there's internet issues, just assume it's me, and you you're always right. <laughs> okay, so we're playing Find or Beef. We're back. Um, yeah, look, my net, that was, 
that wasn't my computer that time. That was my actual net. Um, so it's not one thing, it's another. Um, we, we might just, uh, we might just, um, uh, try again on Sunday, I think. Uh, Sunday for me, uh, wait, is it Sunday for me? Yeah, Sunday for me, uh, Saturday for you guys. We'll try again some other day, because this just, don't, it's not happening today. <laughs> it's, it's not happening. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about this, guys. Um, we'll still be having the stream tomorrow. Um, still be, we'll still be watching. Well, fingers crossed, we'll, we'll try. We'll try to watch whatever it is tomorrow. Um, Lacey's games. Um, but if not, we may need to delay that again as well. Um, yeah, really sorry about this, guys. Um, it's just... Yeah, it just keeps... My net's been horrendous lately. Um, this is how it is. All right, guys. I'll, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. And fingers crossed we can actually... We can actually, uh, watch some stuff then. All right, guys. I'll see you later.